A little over a year ago, we made a video where we were hunting river bottoms with tripod stands. That was so much fun that I want to do it again. But this time, let's just say we have a little bit more modern weapons and we also have a lot more experience. All right, here we are back at our exact location that we were at almost two years ago. And this is gonna be the river crossing right here that we're looking at. Last time, I believe our tripod was set up a little bit more to the north side over there. So a lot of times the animals would come up to this point here and they wouldn't cross because we kept getting a bad wind. But this time I'm tucked back in here a little bit further and we also have the range finding bow sight which would actually be able to help us out quite a bit because now we can take up to an 80 yard shot no problem at all with this bow and of course if we get them under 30 yards we'll definitely bust out the recurve bow so that's gonna be pretty cool and then if we see anything way out there 200 250 yards out we also have the ar 308 which is gonna come in pretty handy all right guys we just got in our stand now it's early in the morning at about 6 30 in the morning here we just got into our tripod and just over here to the north side, I spotted a beautiful bull elk feeding down here. He's actually drinking right over there about 200 yards out. Look at the size of that beautiful bull. Wow. Now, what well, my goal is is to try and call him into range and take him down with the recurve, um, potentially. I mean, if not, we'll be able to take him with the Hawkage bow, but what a beautiful bull to start off this hunt here. I mean, you honestly couldn't get a better way to start off this hunt. I never would have expected this to happen. I'm super, super pumped to be able to try and get this bull to come closer. So let's see if we can't get him in to range. Typically, it doesn't work out like this. Typically, you'll get the small bucks and the small bulls first, and you have to wait a long, long time to get anything close to this size to come your direction. But in this case here, this is literally the first animal that we spotted this morning. Now, just because we got his attention doesn't mean it's over. All it means is that he's interested. But we still got to coax him all the way this direction. So he's still got to go another 100 plus yards before we have any chance in heck at making this shot. Well guys, we tried really, really hard to get this big bull to come in and I had him interested for a little while, but eventually he just decided that he's the alpha bull out there and he is not gonna come any closer. So we could do one of two things. One, we could take the shot right now and I might, or we could somehow try and sneak all the way over there, call and see if I can pull him past that brush because I feel very confident that if I can get him to this opening here, then we can definitely call him into this tripod over here and he should come into range. But I just don't know how much effort that's going to take and if it's really worth it or if we could just go for a nice shot right here and just absolutely smoke that big bull and then we'll go track him a little bit later on. Because honestly, one shot with a 308 is not really going to ruin this spot. All right, there we go right there. 190 yards out. He's almost perfectly broadside. We probably should have just taken that shot in the very beginning. We probably should have, but that's all right. We'll be patient and we'll get a shot. Just smoked him. Beautiful shot on a giant bull and he is not going to go far. All right, so he's going to go down somewhere over there. We'll have to go check that out later, but for now, I want to wait because there should be some nice white tail bucks in this area as well as some bull moose. All right, guys, we shot that bull right here. And if you look closely, you can see there's some really good blood right here. Now we watched him trot off this direction. It's going to be extremely difficult to find this big bull, but I know kind of the direction that he went. Um, I'm honestly thinking that we're probably not going to find much blood, but the fact that we know exactly where he was before he potentially tipped over is a really good thing. So I'm just going to head this direction and go to where I last saw him and uh, see if I can either see him or find some more blood. And guys, that's exactly what just happened. I literally was just standing right there. And I was just telling you that. And I swung around the corner here. 
And sure enough, there's our big old bull piled up right here. Though it would have been really cool to take him down with a bow. I am still very grateful to have this beast of a bull in general. And that's probably going to be that bull moose calling over there. But this here is probably a 330 or 340s bull. I don't know. He's really massive and he has some incredibly long main beams. Some good times as well. It looks like he's a giant like 6x6 six six, to be honest. Or maybe even like a 6x5. Six Let's pick him up and find out how big he's going to... Oh my god! God, that's huge! Holy! 370! Are you kidding me? 370! I mean, I was thinking he might be 340s max? 330? I've never been so far off on an estimate, but in a good way. Normally, you know, I would have said this bull would be like a... 350 bull and it'd probably end up scoring like 310 or 315 even but i said he's gonna be 330 plus he scores 370 what an absolute giant bull 380 is diamond that goes to show you how big and how absolutely massive this bull really is but we took him at 189 yards and just absolutely smoked that bull Tucked it right behind the front shoulder, centered both lungs there. Yeah, I mean, he didn't go 150 yards and piled up from that shot there. With the AR-308, this bull is so big that I think I'm going to get him on it. Because this might be like my third biggest bull of all time. I only have one uh, Churak Diamond Bull Elk. So, yeah, that's how big this... Yeah, we're getting him mounted. We're definitely getting him mounted. Oh my god, I had no clue he was this big. And just like that, I turn around the corner and look what we have right here. A really nice bull moose. He's sitting out there at about 240 yards out. Take a look right out there is where he's at. Now our bull elk was right over there. And so just to show you kind of where this bull is, he is right there. Now, I do have the moose collar. So it'd be really cool if we could pull in that big bull into range. It'd be really cool. I don't quite know how far out this is going to reach, but... Oh boy, here he comes. Here comes our nice bull. Look at the rack on that thing. That's a beautiful bull moose right there coming in. A beautiful bull. Alright, let's get into the tripod. All right, guys, there's our big bull over there. He's only about 100 yards out from us, but he should be stepping out any second now. We're going to keep calling just a little bit, ever so slightly, because we don't want to call too much. All right, he's just picking out over that ridge right there. Here he comes. Now I want to make sure that we have our 700s equipped. That's another cow. Whoa, what's going on? Why are you guys turning around? Why in the heck are you guys turning around? After all that, there is no reason for you to be turning around. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, mating call. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Wow, apparently Moose lose interest really fast because that bull, I mean, he was coming in. Next thing you know, he just stopped, turned around and started walking back the opposite direction. So I guess you gotta call them a little bit more frequently than you would think. Well guys, it looks like our big bull is stopping out there at about 180 yards out, and I don't think he's gonna come too much closer. One, because they're just being very hesitant this morning, and two, because the wind is slowly starting to blow his direction. So if we get a shot here, I think we just might take it with the 308. All right, I definitely don't want to take a front on shot. If he spins back around, I'm going to take the shot.
smoked him held it right behind that front shoulder and he is absolutely hammered there he goes right there there he goes there oh my god he's going down already he's down right there big bull down big bull down all right guys let's get over there and go take a look at this big bull man he was a stubborn one we had him out there at about 80 yards out and he just wouldn't come any closer and then he ended up spooking so what we ended up doing is coming back the next day and kind of the exact same thing happened except for this time we decided nope we're opting out from using the bow we're going to be using the 308 ar and we definitely made that count let's see he was right over here and i'm already seeing a big rack laying right down along the edge of this ravine there he is right there man look at the paddle on that bull Whew, what a great bull down and the fact that we just took down that massive 370 scoring bull elk not only 200 yards away from here is super incredible so our tripod's right over there and the bull moose is laying right here wow let's have a look at him i'm gonna say he's gonna be like a 220 probably maybe even bigger than that maybe like a 230s anyways let's take a cool picture of that and let's pick him up it's gonna be a 200 gold double lunged him 200.3 gold right on the spot i thought he'd be a little bigger than that but what a nice shot you can see we're holding on that front shoulder as he was taking a step there and just tucked in there absolutely beautifully and got ourselves another great bull down she's trotting through there we got a cow moose here as well and hold up guys we're about to have some coyotes come right past us oh and we got some cow moose right here and it looks like we also have some white tailed deer not too far away from us right out here maybe 150 yards out let's see if there's any yeah there's a small buck there but that's that other female and there's the there's another female too another female another oh my gosh there's so many coyotes coming across here all right guys i think we're about to go for the shot here they're about 115 out and uh with the wind that we have here i don't think they're gonna come too much closer i really don't i mean we could potentially be a little bit more patient just because the fact that there's such a massive pack of coyotes here oh my god look at what just happened look what just happened what just what just happened oh no 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 dude i wasn't ready for this i wasn't ready for this drilled him yes big buck down big buck down oh my god oh there's another big buck I don't know what to do. Do we go for the coyotes or the big bucks? We're going for the buck. And a horrible shot, but the second shot, we definitely got him. Man, I'm literally getting seconds away from unloading on all these coyotes that we've been waiting for this whole entire time. And a massive herd of whitetail bucks come across this crossing right here. And one of them happens to be a really nice buck. Stops out there at about 25 yards out. Actually, he was about 40 yards out. Held it right on his hind quarter, quartering away, and just absolutely pinned him right there. Made an awesome, awesome shot with the Hawkage bow. And it looks like these coyotes might eventually come back. Well, it looks like one of them definitely did come back. And that should take him down. I can't imagine him going too much further. All right, guys, let's hop down there and take a look at both of our nice white tails that we got already. One with a bow and one with the AR-308. That was pretty cool. And plus, it's raining now. So perfect timing to go over here, make some noise, pick these up, and then we'll get back set up and get in our tripod again for some more action. Take a look at that shot, though. Quartering away at 40 yards out, a really, really nice white tail buck down. Should be like a 190 plus or close to it. Let's find out what it's going to be. There it is. 187 and a 38 yard. Looks like liver, lung, and heart shot. What an amazing quartering away shot there. You can see we hit it super far back, but because it was quartering so much, it was absolutely right on the money. 
And here we got our other buck down right over here. I didn't get a great look at this buck, but I know it was a good one. Almost the exact same score, 187. And the first shot was just a little bit high there. 60 yards out, got him in the spine and shoulder. But the follow-up did get intestine as he was running away. Looks like we are going to be able to use the recurve bow after all because we got a nice bull elk coming right towards us here. Let's get ready as a matter of fact. He's coming in super, super close. I have the recurve bow loaded up with the 700 grain. No way is he going to feed right there. Are you kidding me? <gasps> He's going to drink less than 40 yards away from us. And it's a solid bull indeed. Look at that thing. All right. That definitely worked. That definitely worked. 35 yards out right there. All right. Here we go. If he would turn a little more broadside. Ooh. Ooh, I could have taken that shot. Man, that's awesome. All right, come on. I just don't love that angle. Oh, he's getting close. He's getting really close. Oh my God. Smoked him. Perfect shot. Took him at about 20 yards out from us. Where'd he go? There he goes right there. Took definitely a quartering shot. But that is a tough bull. And he just piled up right there. About 100 yards out. Oh, heck yeah. That was awesome. Man, that was so cool. He came all the way to there, 40 yards out, started feeding, wouldn't come any closer. So we had to get his attention. And then you can see the little path here where he came all the way out to about 15 yards out. And I even had to zero back in for 20 because he was so close. But we absolutely smoked him and he piled up right over there. All right, here's our nice bull elk down right over here. Let's have a look at him. It's going to be a 263, not a bad looking bull. Nice shoulder blade, uh, right lung shot there at 16 yards away. Great, great bull down. And to be able to take him down with the recurve bow was pretty sweet as well. No way, dude, there's a black bear coming right towards us. I've never seen a black bear cross here ever. And I cannot believe we're sitting up here in the tripod stand during a river crossing hunt. And we literally have a black bear about to cross right in front of us here. We've never had this happen before. Now, I'm not sure what we should try and use because the wind is not... Okay, never mind. We got to make up our mind really fast. Oh, I'm uh, probably going to use the Reeker bow. Probably going to use the Reeker bow because it's going to come really, really close to us here. Oh my God, here it comes. Here it comes. Holy, this, <laughs> this is crazy. It's coming in so fast. It's a sweet looking bear too. It looks like a dusky black bear. She's uh, a big sow about 80 yards out coming right past... And yeah, we'll probably end up using the recurve bow because we do have the 700s in and I'm really confident with this thing. Add out to about 50 yards if I absolutely have to. Yeah, it was kind of funny because when I saw this thing coming in, I thought it seems like the same color as a moose, but it looks to be a different shape. It was more of a round ball versus, you know, a rectangle. And then I looked and I'm like, oh my God, it's a bear. Uh oh, yep, that's what I thought was going to happen. She's sensing us. It's okay, though. She takes off. We got the AR-308. Don't worry. Don't you worry. I mean, I would love to go for a 50-yard shot. I really would. But, uh... Is she running? Oh, she's going to run. She's going to run. Probably not going to get that far, though. However, if she runs directly away from us, she might get quite a ways. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, smoked her. <laughs> we'll throw another one in there just to be able to drop her on the spot. Heck yeah. Man, that was awesome. Black bear down. All right, so if you want to know the exact location that we're hunting here, we're hunting just to the north end of South Lake, which is right here. 
It's the High Lake River. Basically, the river branches off in a wise right here. And so this is the location we're at. We have our tent set up right here and our tripod is right in the middle, right there. This crossing here is excellent. All kinds of animals cross here. You just got to know when and where they cross. No, I'm not even kidding. That's the first black bear I've ever seen cross this spot right here. Ooh, coyotes. That's probably that same pack of coyotes that we saw before, which we were getting ready to take the shot. And then all of a sudden that whole herd of white tail bucks came across and we decided to swap out to go for coyotes instead. Oh, there's definitely, oh, there it is, there it is. Mm, I can't quite take the shot. Oh, I want it so bad. Oh, I just can't. What am I going to shoot at? The brush? Nah, no shot. That's all right. We did get one coyote, right? I honestly don't remember. There was so much stuff that happened during this hunt that I honestly don't remember if we got that coyote or not. But we definitely got this black bear down right here. Let's have a look at our black bear. Oh, a nice left lung shot at 155 yards on the trot. Lung. Oh, that was going right for the dead center heart. 155 yards on the trot. Absolutely smoked her right on the money. And then put another follow up into her as well. And that helped bring her down. But I mean, that first shot was absolutely perfect. Oh, there we go. Take a look at that one out there. That's a beautiful white tail buck. Actually, is there two of them? Well, there's two bucks, but that one is definitely the biggest one right there. Ooh, what do we got there? Another really nice white tail buck. Wow, two giant bucks out here. Look at that one right there and the other one right out there. This time we're looking at about 320 yards out. And like I said before, these are gonna be our biggest bucks of the hunt. There's no way we're going to be able to call these guys in for a shot. It's just they're too far away. But at least we're in the tripod now, so we can definitely take the shot. All right, here we go. What if we took the recurve bow and just like launch one up over there? <laughs> I mean, like absolutely launch that sucker. I feel like we would literally have to land on top of them in order for them to even spook. Or at least noticed. Yeah, that did absolutely nothing. Well, I think what we're going to do is go for a shot on this buck here. Because he's actually a slightly cornering at us. And we could potentially take that shot. Just smoked both of those bucks. I uh, got him a little bit high. Probably got him high in that vertebrae shoulder blade. But we definitely drilled that first one. All right, so that second buck ran up here and I just found him laying down right here. Ooh, that's a big buck. That's a really big buck. So that looks like a, oh, maybe not. He almost looked like the 236 plus buck, but he's not quite that big. Anyways, looks like we shot, oh, a little bit high there. 318 yards out. I thought he was 330. But we were in a tripod, so we actually had a little bit of elevation to our bullet there. So we should have dropped a little bit lower and came back through. In all honesty, like, I feel like that probably should have hit lung and went right through that shoulder into the lung. Because look, behind that shoulder blade, that's where it's going to come out. You're going to come out through the lung, liver, and intestine from that angle there. And we just didn't quite get the penetration, but still a 213 white tail buck is a great white tail and our biggest one so far. And then this guy over here should be a pretty big one as well. All right, let's have a look. Looks like we got a couple of deer over there. Look at that. There's a buck and a doe. Look at that. Hey, guys. All right, here he is. A 209. Double lunged him at 319 yards out. Made a really, really nice shot there. And a great, phenomenal white tail buck to finish off this hunt. Now, this hunt was extremely difficult. But it's not because we didn't know what we were doing. It's because the animals didn't want to cooperate and come into the calls. The only reason that we called that one buck, or not the buck, the one bull into range is because it decided to feed right next to us. But the first big bull before that one 
it stopped and it won't come any closer than that one point. Same thing with that bull moose, it won't come any closer either. But luckily that one whitetail buck trotted right past us when we weren't even ready. So thankfully we actually did get some to come into bow range. But overall, it was still a ton of fun and we got some massive, massive bucks and bulls during this hunt. I mean that 370 gold bull elk it's probably my second or maybe even third biggest bull elk of all time. That says a lot. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.